Welcome to your transit talk report for Mercury and Cancer. This is the Peace Dealer, and this Mercury and Cancer transit is going to very critically and deeply help you understand and process mentally your psychic power and abilities. It's going to be not the easiest transit to go through. I don't think Mercury really likes to be in Cancer like that. But after this transit, your ability to hear into the tone that people speak with and to empathically connect with them will be unparalleled and skyrocketed in the way with which you can feel words. Although this is what Mercury and Cancer helps one with, it's not the purpose of this transit. It with Mars will pave the way and prepare us all for the eclipse that is set to happen at the beginning of July. One thing that you want to very powerfully expect is that this transit will focus your processing ability to now be more aware of how you discern these unseen influences and maneuver and manipulate them in your reality so you can literally be that much more psychic. Mercury is going to be passing the sun, or rather, it's going to start its transit after the sun. It will subsequently retrograde when it goes into Leo, but as Mercury moves forward and catches up to Mars, your understanding of events will take your awareness and constantly ponder, how do you feel? What's your real sincere feelings about the experience? What is it that you really want to say? And we all know that's not really the easiest thing to do realistically, because sometimes how we really feel can off put other people. And it's just easier to suppress this. Hence the purpose of this transit, breaking through not only psychic power, but deeper sincerity. So there's more tact in your words. And so that you're not having to say what you think is right, but to say how and what you really feel. It will be opposing very powerful energies. So it's not going to be easy, but it will be worth it. Mars that has sextiled Uranus will now be followed up by Mercury, which will begin its transit sextiling Uranus 